I had a chance to stop in and check out the little town of Granger on my way into Wahlberg, Texas to play music at Wahlberg Songwriter Wednesdays. Granger is a small town out there with uh, over a thousand people as a population. It's located about 45 miles northeast of Austin, so it could take you about 50 or 55 minutes to get to Austin from there or to drive there from Austin. And one of the neighboring major and notable towns is Georgetown. Town, which is located 20 miles west of Granger. This town was incorporated in the late 1800s, and originally a big component to that was that it was part of a railroad intersection. And it's got a main street there that's called Davila Street. And the street was actually formed with hand-laid bricks going back into the late 1800s. The street itself has many practical things like a feed and supply store and uh, markets. There's a Catholic church along there and you can find the Granger National Bank there as well. And the town itself is known and unique because it still has a functioning cotton gin, according to what I see online. Overall, this is a quiet town. It's got a tight-knit family uh, community there. This strip here gives some ghost town vibes, but obviously the more than a thousand people who live here would argue against it being a ghost town, and they're actually a part of the Texas Main Street program where they say they want to turn the historic past into a booming economy. So uh, there are some interesting things out here, and as you walk around, you can see that historic architecture in some of these dilapidated buildings but you could see the town activity there too in some of these stores that are being used the history of the town has a strong Czech history and there's some here that are still speaking Czech and preserving those customs here so that's really interesting some other interesting things that I learned is that the Texas Chainsaw Massacre house is near here and they've filmed scenes from True Grit here and it is popular for movie locations in general. For live music itself right here they do have this place called the Cotton Country Club that does have some live music and entertainment going on right there. Ultimately I head down the road not too far from here to Wahlberg German Restaurant for Wahlberg Songwriter Wednesday. Good evening ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mike Mathis and I want to welcome you to Wahlberg Songwriter Wednesday number 218. Is it, what is it? 217. Okay, well, thank you. Got a real special show for you tonight. Uh, we got uh, Mr. Russell Bartlett here. Russell's been touring around the country. Glad to get him back in the Austin area. Over here, another guy that's been doing a lot of, a lot of touring, a lot of gigging in a lot of different places. He's been here. Both these guys have been here before a couple of times. Got Mr. David Bredwell. A little bit later, we're going to have my old buddy Freddie Fuller up here again. And Mr. Greg Whitfield. We're glad to have Greg back. Guitar man, Mr. Greg Whitfield. So one of the first things I had to do when I moved to Texas was go and visit the graveside of Mr. Blaze Foley. And when I did, I saw that it was piled high with Lone Star beers. And that's when I knew I had to write a song for him. South of Austin, north of Buda, that's where you'll find him underground. Sitting in the shade of the tall, tall tree, Lone Star beers piled around. Singing big cheeseburger, good French fry, goodwill stores, and Waikiki. Shave your beard, your mango bum, your bed linen in the woods and the tree. Thanks for checking out this video. I'm posting all about touring around Texas and the music scene of Texas. So be sure to click on my YouTube video, take a look at those thumbnails, see which videos have topics that interest you, and check them out. And thank you for your support. Your 
stores in Waikiki. Shady beard, you make a bum. You've been living in the 